Hello. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. Until now we have covered in accounts receivable all the important topics under the customer account as well as the processes of accounts receivable. For example, invoicing, creating credit memos, incoming payments and viewing the reports. We now dig into this a little deeper by showing you the demo. In the demo, we will cover how exactly is a customer account updated, the master data is updated, and how then we post the parking invoices, and how these park documents are then completed as a posted invoice document in SAP. Once this is done, we will also try to cover the incoming payments and how do we view these documents in the customer account. The line item report is also one of the reports we look into after the end of these steps. So let's jump into SAP now. In SAP, there are different options under accounting. We need to look into financial accounting and within that, we need to look into accounts receivable. Accounts receivable will have various options like viewing master records or creating documents or displaying documents. It also has options for reporting purposes. This means this accounts receivable tab covers everything that you need to do for a customer in the organization. First, we're going to look into the master records. We have already created a customer which we want to display now. To display, the transaction code is FD03. You can either double click here or you can enter manually FD03 over here in the command box. Enter the customer number and enter the company code. If you're not sure or not aware of what customer are you looking for, you can always click on this drop down option where you can search for the customer manually by either entering the city or the name of the customer. Once done, press on the continue button. And this will get you to the main customer record data. There are different tabs for customer records as we've already seen in the presentation. The first one we're looking at is under general data address. So you see general data is over here given on the title bar and then we have the address details. This covers important information like the first and the last name. If there is a title then also the title needs to be given here. Then the street name, house number, postal code, etc. The city, country, PO box number, telephone data, email addresses, everything is recorded on this tab. Once done, you can check under payment transaction if there are any bank details of the customer already added. This is very important for those customers who are going to make automatic payments within the company. Also, if you want to issue any notes to the customer, if you have the bank details pre-populated, then these will be captured in the notes which are sent to the customer. These can be either payment advices or dunning letters, etc. Then we have the company code data under which there are again many tabs. This tab covers mainly the reconciliation account. As we've already discussed earlier, reconciliation account is a group of customers which are compiled in one particular GL account, which is then posted into accounting. Without this, there cannot be any postings for the customer. So this is an important and mandatory field. You may also have other information over here, for example, interest indicator, interest cycle, if there is any previous account number for this customer, it needs to be updated over here. Then we have the payment transactions where you can record the terms of payment which you have agreed upon with the customer. 
and also the payment methods which are agreed upon for example the agreed payment method with some customers will be checks whereas with some other customers it will be online payments then we have the correspondence tab this is the least utilized tab in customers but most of the companies do utilize the dunning procedure so if there are any dunning procedures for the company these are recorded over here so these are the different tabs within a customer master data we now look into how exactly is a customer invoice created first we will check how is a parked invoice created and then we will post in sap this parked invoice as a final invoice for this we can check the parked documents tab fv70 is a transaction to create any parked invoices in the system we can double click on that and this will take us to a screen which looks very similar to posting an invoice but as you see on the top over here in the title bar it says parking an invoice you need to enter the customer number here enter the invoice date enter any reference which you have for the customer you can enter the amount and then you enter the GL account against which you want to create the particular invoice. For example, it can be any kind of income that is generated from the customer or it can be any fees which the customer is paying to the organization. So we can take a generic operating income account over here. As we've also seen in the previous videos, you can put a star over here if it is only one line item for the customer invoice. When you put a star here, it automatically captures the amount from the header to the line item. And lastly, we need to enter any cost object. In this case, we can enter a cost center. Once these things are done, we can click on the save button on the top menu bar. If there are any warnings, you will see those at this stage. So as you see, there were no warnings or errors and it says the document number 18000000001 is parked. This does not mean that it is posted in the system. As of now, this document is only parked in the system. Now, this document will go to a senior supervisor or a senior accountant in the accounts receivable team. And they will be in charge of checking all the details on the document and finally posting it into SAP. The transaction to do that in SAP is to be found in this same tree which we were looking at earlier. We earlier clicked on FV70 and FBV0 is a transaction which is used to post this particular invoice. So if we click on that, we get an option of entering the document number. As we already know, this document number is the one which we created now. This is automatically in, uh, filled over here. Click on enter. And now you can see all the details which are entered by the analyst earlier. Once all the details are checked by the accountant, by the senior accountant, then they can enter any comments if they want or they can directly click on the post button, which is here. For example, they can enter in the text checked on 1st January. This is just an example and the accountant can enter any other details if they have over here. And then they click on the post button. This will now finally actually post an invoice in the system, which means the GL accounts which we have entered have now been finally hit. So you will see that the customer balance is now increased because of this particular posting. How we can see this in the system is by going to the line item display report of customer accounts. 
for that the transaction is fb5 ln and press on enter sorry my mistake it's fbl 5n and once we select this particular transaction code it takes us to the customer line item display report you can enter the customer account number here the company code and you can select if you want to see all items or do you want to see only the open items once you select these details click on the clock button which is the execute button and over here you will find our document is over here which is posted on the 1st of January and the amount is 123 and as you see over here the text which we entered over there manually has been captured so this is how it looks like when you are posting a particular invoice in the system we will stop the demo here and in the next video we will see how a particular payment is done for this invoice and how does this affect the customer balance account. Thank you very much for watching Edupedia World videos.